come to Ted B's universe Where we get real wild And we put in work I said What's going on y'all? It's your boy Teddy And um Early morning video Y'all know how I do these man And Wasn't really gonna do this video Until probably like next week or something But I was like hey It's gonna be the talk of the town today So might as well drop it Get a little extra views or something At least try to Championship Sunday man What an epic Championship Sunday The NFL had this past weekend Um This was the Chiefs versus the Ravens And the Lions versus the 49ers And we got two completely Entertaining games for Completely different reasons Um First game of the day was the Chiefs and the Ravens, which was Baltimore was favorite. I had Baltimore winning. A lot of people had Baltimore winning. I think a lot of people picked Baltimore. I picked Baltimore because I thought they were the better team. A lot of people just picked Baltimore because they were tired of seeing the Chiefs win. Don't want to see the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. I could care less if the Chiefs made the Super Bowl. I just thought Baltimore was a better team at the moment, so I picked them to win. Didn't happen that way. Um, a lot of shrinkage from the Baltimore Ravens. And I was telling my uh, brother Cape. Cape likes the Chiefs. Shout out Cape. Congratulations, bro. You know, go do your thing. Get another championship. Yeah. Telling my brother Cape, like, going forward, man, I'm not going to be picking against the teams that have experience. That's all that be mattering in these situations. Teams just have experience. And yesterday we saw two prime examples of a team having discipline and experience and the other team not and it cost both teams a trip to the Super Bowl. Start with the Ravens. Um Ravens came out flat. Uh they couldn't get the run game going for real for real. They did have one nice drive where it resulted in a touchdown. Um a lot of fluky plays was happening for the Ravens, which doesn't really bode well unless you have like momentum. <laughs> And then it kind of seems like it's always going to be one of them type of games or everything going their way. But it also could mean that, damn, we can't get nothing going. And the only time we move the ball is if something fluky happened, which was a lot of the case for the Ravens yesterday. Um, Lamar Jackson, man, uh, probably, is gonna, probably locked up his second MVP this season. He just got to be better. Like, you got to be better. You know what I'm saying? Um Interception and triple coverage, a bunch of bad passes, um, too anti in the pocket, or like his immediate reflexes to try to take off running. Um, even in dire situations in the fourth quarter, you can see like the times running down. You got to get down the field. He's still trying to like run and all that type of stuff. Just, just poor situational football under pressure on the Mars end. Um, Wide receivers were dropping passes. Uh, Zay Flowers fumbled, running into the end zone. That was a touchback. They they gave up maybe two to three opportunities to score touchdowns just to turn the ball over, and you can't have those. You preferably don't want any mistakes in these championship games. The further you go into the season, the smaller the margin of error is, and them one turnover could be the difference in the game. You know what I'm saying? And they had two or three, you know. Uh, he got strip sack. A lot of people trying to tell me, you know, strip sacks don't count uh, as Lamar's fault. And to a degree, it doesn't. But to a degree, it does. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not. I'm not going to debate that on this video. Um. So yeah, as you can see, that he got the he got the ski mask on, the poo shiesty. He's looking super blown, looking like he's about to run down on somebody. But if he's gonna run down on somebody, it gotta be himself, bro. You know, you gotta be better and. That's why I underestimated the Chiefs, man. Um, the Chiefs were better. The Ravens came out with all these egregious, just stupid penalties. These roughing the passes, unnecessary roughness, uh, n n jumping off sides to knock the lineman over, like fake trying to intimidate and enforce willpower. And it's stupid. Just, you too far in the season to be doing this type of dumb shit that the Ravens was just doing. Like, what was Harbaugh coaching them on all week? Like, for them to lose this much discipline. Because they wasn't doing this in any of the other games. You know what I'm saying? Now, they was laying big hits and stuff like that, but it wasn't nothing, like, egregious. They got so many stupid penalties. that was, They was giving up 30, 45 yards on a drive by, just by penalties alone. You know what I'm saying? Who are you going to beat like that? 
at this far into the season, why are you still trying to intimidate people? You know what I'm like like nobody's scared, bro. When it comes down to the last four teams, we all earned our spot to be here. We're not scared of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all focusing on the wrong thing. Chiefs just going out making plays, making plays, making plays, making plays. They got good habits. So their habit under pressure is going to be to make a good play. And we saw some amazing like plays being made third and six or something. And Travis Kelsey with a crazy catch or Rasheed Rice doing his thing or Pacheco doing his thing when they needed it the most. But for the Ravens under pressure, when they needed it the most, it was going to be some dumb shit. It was going to be a penalty, a drop pass, a, a, a interception and a triple coverage. You know what I'm saying? Like this completely got out coached. Out schemed, outplayed all facets of the game. The, the Chiefs owner probably better, but got out owned yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Like just, just whatever. I mean, I post game they they giving a presentation to Andy Reid, laughing and saying how Baltimore showing them nothing but good hospitality. So he telling the city don't don't take the loss too hard and all like just toying around. With, come on, bro. But um, definitely was disappointed in the Ravens showing. They were on the roll. Like I said, I'm done. I don't give a hell who's hot at the time. I don't give a hell who got the hot hand rolling into the playoffs. Whoever's the most experienced in these championship games, that's who I'm going with from now on. My bad, Patrick Mahomes. My bad, Andy Reid. Sorry, Chiefs. Apologize. Won't happen again. Um, then we had the second game, which was the San Francisco 49ers hosting the Detroit Lions, who haven't been here since God knows how long. And um, the Lions came out roaring in the first half, man. Jumped out to a 24-7 lead. Everything was working. They literally was just pushing David Montgomery, Jameer Gibbs, and Laporta down San Francisco's throats. Pause. And they could, and they did not have an answer for it um, until they got to halftime. Second half came out, got their stuff together. Lions. Played like a completely different team in the second half. Turnovers. Uh, coach made two egregious decisions to go forward on fourth down. And I'm not going to say it's egregious because according to them, the analytics tell you to go forward. I'm not an analytics person. I, I kind of am in basketball and a little bit in baseball. But in football, I'm not an analytics person. Um, basketball, you run analytics. It's a set when the playoffs. It's a seven game series. It's a five game series. Well, it used to be seven game series. Baseball is three games, five games, seven game series. You got time to adjust with the analytics. Football, it's one game. You lose today, you're going home. You ain't really got time to adjust with the analytics in football. You got to take the points whenever you can get them. And they gave up two, I believe it was two field goal opportunities. Now, field goals aren't a gimme, but that's a chance at points. And you just turn the ball over for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, them getting to the end zone and then fumbling, which is just inexcusable. You get close to the end zone, got to score a touchdown. Um, they gave up 27 or something unanswered points before they end up scoring a little touchdown at the end to make the score seem more... Uh, Respectable. They lost by three, but the score it really lost by like ten. Um, Dan Campbell, man, it started off so good, but I don't, I don't, I just don't believe in it, man. Uh, this is your one shot. It's not a gimme that you're gonna get back here. We see so many of these teams make it this far, do some dumb shit, and never make it back. And this might have been his only chance. It's gonna be twice as hard because everybody not gonna be taking Detroit lightly. People gonna be gunning for you. You gonna have that first place schedule. You gonna have so many things working against you next year. You got a bunch of free agents. Um, got a bunch of people on film that we can study now. Just, just gotta cash out on these chances. But San Fran again, the more experienced team. We've been here before. We're not gonna panic. We're gonna play our game. We're gonna do our thing. Christian McCaffrey, amazing game. Debo Samuel's amazing game. Ayuk has some crazy catches. You stick the full back. This is an offensive loaded with talent. Once the defense kind of bit down, it was getting those turnovers, those three and outs and stuff. Um, it was pretty much a wrap in that second half. Uh, shout out, shout out to the Lions though, man. It was a good season. Uh, Jared Goff. Hopefully, he proved a lot of people wrong. Uh, people were saying that he's trash and all of that. I was one of those people, but um, I feel like he's changed the narrative. And if he continue to play like this. Uh, they maybe they will have a chance to get back. I don't think so, but maybe they will. You know what I'm saying? Um, so the Super Bowl is going to be a rematch between the Chiefs and the 49ers. 
And I'm going to wait before I give y'all a pick. And I'm going to probably do a separate video diving into this rematch that we had just a few years ago. Obviously, Jimmy Garoppolo was the quarterback and not Brock Purdy. But um, Patrick Mahomes has a chance to go for his third Super Bowl in four years. Which I see a lot of people saying that that's never been done before. Which I don't know. That can... Y'all say stuff on Twitter and, and, and social media every day to let me know y'all wasn't watching football. Tom Brady literally just did this like a good nine to six six to nine years ago, 2014 to 18, I believe. Um, but I digress. Another topic, another day, another conversation. Uh, separate video for who I think is going to win this game. Yes, I do already have uh, who I think is going to win this game for sure. A reason, a couple of reasons why. And... I will get back to y'all probably in a week or so to drop that video. But yeah, very, very entertaining. Very, very uh, cinema, I'll say. Championship Sunday in the NFL. What y'all think about that? Did y'all like the games? How y'all feel about these teams like costing themselves ships to the Super Bowl? Like, comment, share, subscribe. And we are out of here, y'all. Welcome to Ted B. Universe, where we get real wild and we put in work. I said.